Toffee. <laughs> Everybody, please welcome Toffee Baby to the stream. <laughs> Toffee is underneath my leg. <laughs> She's trying to get comfy in this little blanket. Uh, not blanket, jacket that I have. <laughs> anyway, I didn't check the sound quality of the last stream, so hopefully the mic sounds okay. Uh. All right, I have to tweet now. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Little tweet, 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 tweet. Um, where's Twitter? <laughs> I found it. <coughs> also, I'm very, 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 very tired. I'm sleepy. I think I... Oh my god, Toffee. Toffee, what are you doing? Toffee! She, oh my god, she's trying to go into the sleeve of my jacket. Stop it! Why are you so weird? <laughs> Willingly getting into situations she can't get out of. <laughs> Tuffy. Tuffy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh my god. She <laughs> Shut up, she's in the sleeve. <laughs> no. I gotta get a picture of this. Wait, Tuffy. Tuffy, look. Look here. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Stop. <laughs> she, she looks like a worm. Tuffy. Oh my god. Toffee has infiltrated the sleeve of my jacket, and I guess that's just where she's going to hang out for a while. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm going to post this to Twitter. I think my Twitter is on. Oh, are you stuck? Oh no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> she just got out. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to post it to Twitter. I think my Twitter is on this welcome screen. Yeah. If you want to see Toffee in a sleeve. If you want to see Worm Toffee. I'm posting it to Twitter right now. That's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so funny. Why is she so funny all the time? <laughs> oh my gosh. She just made my day. <laughs> Little baby Toffee. You're so funny. Okay. I tweeted it. <laughs> it has it's been immortalized there she is worm toffee <laughs> wait hang on I'll show it on stream too in a second but hang on I have to make the stream tweet too <laughs> that was so funny she's never done that before <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just finish up this other tweet real fast. <sighs> Okay.
Okay. <clears throat> Let me get closer to the computer so that I can make myself go blind. Perfect. You know what? We're keeping it light on the hashtags today. Who cares? Okay. Oof. Worm toffee. <laughs> yeah. And the, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got it here. Look at this. <laughs> Look at Worm Toffee. There she is, folks. Oh my gosh, it's Worm Toffee. By the way, I changed the uh, layout of the chat box and the gameplay. The good news is that if I were to ever try to like edit this down or anything, <coughs> then it would be easier to like cut the gameplay window because there's no uh, chat in the middle of the gameplay or anything, but I don't know. We'll see. Cute. Thanks, Dad. She is so cute. Look at Toffee. Oh, look at this sweet, sweet baby. Look at her little nose. Such a beautiful baby. This this is the breaking news. <laughs> there she is. Ah, oh, fucking beautiful. Anyway, hello Nyans. Today we're playing Wiki Arena. Wiki Arena. It's the game where you uh make different Wikipedia articles fight it out. <laughs> And uh, see which one either has more, like, words, or whichever one has more... That's loud, isn't it? Whichever one has, yeah, longer or more views. Let's turn that down, shall we? My goodness gracious. I forgot there was music to this game. Alright, let me know if the game volume ever gets too high. I feel like it's probably good around here. Yeah, it's just like pensive music. Put it up. Yeah, just like there is probably fine. Anyway. Who's ready to learn? I'm ready to learn. Let me know what you think of the new layout. I tried to keep the game screen, the game section, as big as I possibly could while still having the chat be, like, legible, like, read-able, <laughs> to make sure that- because, like, I don't know if people might watch- I mean, not a lot of people watch the VODs or anything anyway, but on the off chance that someone's, like, watching it on their phone or something, I wanted it to still be- readable and everything, so I couldn't make the chat too small. I hope you understand. I measured it, and the chat is only like maybe one-fourth, a little less than a fourth of the screen, so the game still takes up the majority. But let me know if you want to go back to the old setup. It's not too difficult to rearrange stuff, so... Chat and volume good. Okay. <sighs> I'll try and rewatch this one. Try being the operative word because uh I <coughs> might forget. <laughs> Have to check. Okay, note to self. Watch this back and check the microphone and like, overall setup of the chat and stuff. Anyway, let's get started, Nyan. So, we have Star Wars, the scripts, 
Star Wars The Scripts is a book by George Lucas, Leigh Brackett, and Lawrence Kazdan, Kazdan, published by Box Tree in blank blank blank. Be My Wife, a 19... Oh, this one has a picture, I think. Be My Wife, a 1921 film. It's an American silent comedy film written, directed, and starring Max Linder. So, which full article is either longer or got more views in the last 60 days? I'm going to guess that Star Wars has more views, right? What? Oh, shit. Are you kidding? That's insane. Really? <laughs> Be My Wife is really popular? Or maybe it had a resurgence in the last 60 days? Because, damn. 92. Oh, I guess the script, this, this book might just not be popular. Dang it. I thought anything Star Wars, you know, has some popularity, but... Weird. Okay. So we have three hearts, by the way. We're trying to get ten of these right to, to win, essentially. That's how you win the game. It took us all of stream last time. We played this a while ago. We have played it once on stream, but, uh... We. I'm using the royal we. <laughs> You guys are here too, right? You're playing it with me, kind of. That's that's why I say we. Anyway, Hugh Campbell, born May 21st, 1941, is a former American football and Canadian football player. Is it just me or is the is the text larger? Why is the text larger? That's weird. Or maybe it's just that the uh, the article isn't super big. I don't know. Anyway, so we have a football player and mm, <laughs> Monoctenocera is a genus of snout moths described by George Hansen in 1899. What? Um interesting huh this guy was born in 1941 which means he's like 80 or so 80 or 90 years old now so I don't mm. <laughs> so old athlete or genus of moth people love moths but people also love football Hugh Campbell seems... I feel like I've heard that name before. Mm, let's... Maybe more views? Oh, yeah! Oh, wow. No one likes moths. <laughs> I was incorrect. Well, that's okay. Or, I was incorrect about the moths. I got the question correct, but... Myron H. Clark. Look at that guy. Wait a second. I've seen... I know that signature... He's an American politician. Oh no, you know whose signature that looks like? That looks like, um... That, um... Claude Monet. The C and the N. That's... Hang on, can I? <laughs> Let's see. Claude Monet signature. Am I wrong? Oh, it's a little... It's a, it's pretty different. <laughs> What's it like being able to see the entire Google results, huh? 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 <laughs> Claude Monet. Who... It's some other artist, then, maybe, that has this, like, hand... Anyway... <laughs> Myron H. Clark. He's an American politician from New York. Okay, so... Seems like... Pe lots of people would know this person. Or Treedom. What? Treedom is a platform that allows... Treedom? Is a platform that allows anyone to plant trees in different countries of the world. Oh, cool. 
Treatum also allows the owners of the planted blank blank. I have a feeling this one has more views, right? Who do we think there's more of in the world? People who are interested in like American history or people who are interested in helping to save the planet and plant trees. <laughs> I would hope that there's more people interested in Treatum. I'm gonna go for it. More views. Ooh, wow, it's kind of close. Okay. <clears throat> Jupiter's Darling is a 1955 American Eastman color musical romance film released by MGM and directed by George Sidney filmed in Cinemascope. It starred Esther Williams. She... That sounds familiar. Esther Williams might be a really famous actress. Uh, okay. Isabella Bersic? Bers Berkzik? I'm not sure how... To, I'm sorry for ruining this name. Uh, she is a Polish swimmer. She competed in the women's 200 meter backstroke event at the 1996 Summer Olympics. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Hmm. Any ideas, chat? Because I'm a little stumped on this one because the last time we got like a 1950s or was it like a 1920s we got that silent film one that was like surprisingly popular I feel like the film is probably more popular than this Polish swimmer it says she competed in the Olympics but not that she like won in the Olympics Jupiter longer you think but what if this has, like, this person's entire biography? Like, you know, she was born here at the age of nine she started swimming and then that stuff. Should I trust my dad? I'll try it. I don't know, though. I don't know if I can trust it. Oh, wow, you were right. <laughs> can I open? Oh, good, it'll open up in here. Here we go. Jupiter's not- that is such a classic looking, like a retro cinema or movie poster. <laughs> As the Roman woman... Oh, Jupiter, like the god Jupiter. Oh, it's an album by heart, too. What? That's weird. Do you think it's named after the movie? <clears throat> Military Hannibal. Oh! <laughs> it's a Carthaginian general. And statesmen who commanded the forces of Carthage in their battle against the Roman. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, what? Hannibal Lecter's in this? <laughs> Swim the Tiber? Tiber? Tiber River? Take a close look at Rome's fortifications. Do you think this is part... I know that there was like a resurgence of like Greek and Roman... It was kind of like a mini renaissance. I don't know if it was during this time, but like in America, there was this huge movement about like Greek and Roman like mythology and also just like the romance of it all. I know there was also one um, with like Asian culture. You know, the one I'm thinking of that one painting. I think it's a French woman in a kimono. That was like the main. This one, this painting. La Japonaise. Another Wikipedia article, don't mind if I do. 18 cent, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> oh, it's by Claude Monet! Whoa, whoa! We came full circle real fast. <laughs> That's what he looks like? Damn, I never knew. <laughs> 
Wow. Oh, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big canvas. Full-length portrait. A European woman. Sorry, not French. Well, it was by... Claude Monet is French, so... <laughs> European woman in a red utikake kimono standing in front of a wall decorated by Japanese fans. First wife Camille Doncio modeled for the painting. Aw, cute. Second impression Impressionism. So maybe like in the 1950s in America, we had a kind of like impressionist movement with uh, Greek and Roman stuff. Because I feel like that that movie probably isn't the only one of its kind. I feel like there's probably more. I feel like it was a theme. Anyway. <laughs> <coughs> Coquitlam Electoral District. It was a provin pro uh, provincial electoral district in the Canadian province of British Columbia from 1966 to 1975. The riding's successor was the Coquitlam Moody Riding. What is a riding? I don't understand. Is it like a ruling? Uh, for other greater Vancouver area ridings, please see New Westminster. Electoral Desert Sander Vancouver dot 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 Metalton Arkansas 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 right Arkansas <laughs> Metalton is an unincorporated community in southern Carroll County Arkansas United States the community is located on Arkansas Highway 21 between Cab Cabanal Cabanal to the north and Omega Omega to the south. The communities of Rudd and Gobbler lie to Gobbler <laughs> lie to the southeast. Dude, of course Arkansas has names like this. Like what the fuck? All in one area <laughs> along Arkansas Highway 103. So we have an old electoral district that is no longer a thing, or a place in Arkansas, a commute, unincorporated. Co what does that mean? <clears throat> like a commune? A cult? Arkansas Highway between Cabanal? Um, the communities of Rudd and Gobbler. So there's other community? What is that? Is it- am I missing something? Not a city. Yeah. So does it just mean that it's like a small town or something? Why do they say unincorporated community? Metalton, more views. Yeah, I thought so too, but... Let's see. <coughs> Ooh. I want to see what this is. Like, what does it mean? Their post office isn't around anymore. Wow, it's a really short article. Damn. <laughs> oh, I can zoom in now. You guys can, like, see the... I can zoom in and then immediately proceeds to zoom out of the window. Towns are incorporated. So then what is... Oh, wait, I can just Wikipedia it. An unincorporated community is one general term for a geographic area having a common social identity without municipal organization or official political designation. Incorporation as a city or town. Okay. The two main types of unincorporated communities are a neighborhood or other community existing within one or across multiple existing incorporated areas. In this sense, a community is part of a municipal government but not separately incorporated from it. Uh, the, oh, like, okay, yeah, so it is, like, villages or small towns. It's, I, like, the image in my head, also fucking nut bush. That's hilarious, nut bush. So, yeah, the thing in my head was, like, you know, lots and lots of open land, like, acres of, like, farmland or even just nothing, nothingness, and then, like, one house, you know, like, the middle of nowhere kind of thing. Okay. Or a neighborhood or other community existing outside and incorporated. In the sense, communities outside any municipal government and entirely unincorporated. Hovland, Minnesota, Nutbush, Tennessee, and Yucca, Yucca, Arizona, all are small rural settlements of low population. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. So, like, small rural settlements, not a lot of people. 
is the basic idea. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Doing pretty good, we're almost halfway there. Mavil Aru, Mother River, is a waterway that supplies water to some regions of eastern Sri Lanka. The closing of the Sluice, Sluice, Sluice gates is considered to be the official beginning of the Elam War. <laughs> uh, four? Is this four? I can't, I can't remember. I think so, but I'm not sure. I think this is the Roman numeral for four. Although violence, including skirmishes and bombings, happened before. Oh. Four. Okay, good. Lighthouse Keeper. Lighthouse Keeper or Light Keeper is a person responsible for tending and caring for a lighthouse, particularly the light and lens in the days when oil lamps and clockwork mechanisms were used. Sometimes referred to as wikis. Wikis? Like wiki arena? It's, it's spelled differently, but you know. <laughs> wiki, wiki, wiki. Dude, I think I could be a lighthouse keeper. This sounds so chill. Just get to sit up in a tower all day with a fucking light bulb? Hell yeah. <laughs> I basically do that now. I just sit in my room with some lights on. <laughs> oh yeah. The kitties. Oh my lord. The cats. Okay, I'm saying this for my dad. Because uh, he's probably like the only person here. The cats have uh, foregone for wind. They don't care about the ladder. We, we exchanged ladders on the loft bed that I have in my room today. And we got this other ladder to replace the bulky one. We got like a smaller ladder. And I put it in a place the cats aren't used to having a ladder. And they're not using it at all. Instead, they are <laughs> jumping up on the little couch that I have. And then from there, they jump up all the way. They get their claws, their front their front paw claws, they get those into the blanket and then scratch their way up with their legs. <laughs> so they can't make it in like one jump. They can make it by jumping onto the couch and then jumping onto the bed and scratching and climbing and trying to get up. <laughs> it's a struggle. I think I should move the ladder back or move it to the other side of where it is now. I don't know. I thought they could use it. I thought they'd be smart enough to see that, you know, there's still a ladder. It just moved. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's a cat update for anyone who cares. That's what happened to the cats. They're struggling. <laughs> I think Lighthouse Keeper, maybe for both. Because how much can you write about a waterway? Hmm. I think I'll do more views. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This is not very popular at all. Let's give it another view, shall we? Let's give this. I wonder if there's, like, a uh, picture of it. There's not. It's very short. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well... There you go. I wonder if when people view the wiki article from this game, do you think it counts towards the views? <laughs> That's a lot of views, actually, that I last six to last two months, almost. Huh. More than I would have thought. Oh my gosh, King of the Hill. High Notes is the 34th studio album by American musician Hank Williams Jr. It was released by Electro Curb Records in April 1982, making it Williams' eighth studio album and his ninth overall for the label. Okay. King of the Hill is an American... Bobby? God dang it, Bobby! I can't do it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All I, remember, all I know is like, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it's a good show. I like it. I haven't seen like every single episode, but <laughs> I think it's pretty good. What is his name? Hank Hill, the main guy, icon. He's become an icon recently. He's hilarious. Anyway, <laughs> is an American animated sitcom created by Mike Judge and Greg Daniels for the Fox Broadcasting Company. The series initially aired from January 12, 1997 to May 6, 2010, and centers on 
the hills, an American family in the fictional city of Arlington. It's fictional? Damn. All right. <laughs> um... Does anybody know this album, this musician? Because I don't. So I have a feeling that King of the Hill probably has more views. I, th I feel pretty confident. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, oh my gosh. Are we gonna get 10 out of 10, like, on the first? Well, it won't, like, actually be 10. Are we gonna get 10 stars, though? On the first round. That's insane. Okay, Solaris Center, Estonia. So, esto -nia? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Solaris Center, in Estonian, it is Solaris Keskus? Keskus? Is a shopping and entertainment complex in Tallinn, Estonia. It is the largest entertainment trade and culture center in cultural center in Tallinn. The center was projected by Ravio Pusep. It was opened on March 2009. Okay. I see there's like a Nokia store. <laughs> so it's like a shopping mall kind of? It says entertainment con so either either like a movie theater or maybe like some kind of stage for people to perform or something. Interesting. Or we have Azazello. I love that. That sounds like a cool name. In early versions of the book Fiello. Fiello? I don't know. Is a character from the novel The Master and Margarita by the Russian writer Mikhail Bulgakov. A demon, a member of Wulan's entourage. Eh? That's a sentence? Okay. <laughs> the demon of the waterless desert. The killer demon. Uh... So a character from a book, I guess. Or a cultural center in Estonia. <laughs> Dude, these both seem niche as fuck. I don't know. <laughs> Also, why is my laptop chugging away? Why is the fan so loud for just some Wikipedia articles? Calm the fuck down. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I have no idea. I think we should go on which one is longer. Because I don't know if they'd have that much views. That many views. Hmm. There's only so much you can write about a character in a book, especially if the character isn't like based on anything. Like if it's if it's just an original character, I don't know. Getting some lagging too. It looks okay on my end. I got all green. I only have like 3% dropped frames, which is kind of okay. <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> um, you could try refreshing. I don't know. I think the Solaris Center might be longer. Let's see. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, we only have one heart left. Oh, this is how it starts. This is how it fucking starts, isn't it? <laughs> this article has multiple issues, damn. Turned out to be short of stature, a fiery redhead with a fang. Only one? In a starched shirt, a good quality striped suit, patent leather shoes, and a bowler hat on his head. A gnawed chicken bone sacking out. True appearance is far from comical. Oh. Ugly fang. So it is like a weird single fang on his face. And the albugo on his eye. I don't know what that is. Yeah, the demon of the waterless desert. The killer demon. Waterless desert is just sand, isn't it? <laughs> oh! 
Azazel. Oh. Dude, Azazel is uh, an anime character, I'm pretty sure. I think from uh, Bahamut. I typed that in wrong. Shingeki no Bahamut. Yeah! Azazel. Azazeru is a fallen angel, second in command to the chief Lucifer. Look at him. He's hot. Woo! That's a nice anime boy. Wow. Bahasur! I like Shingeki no Bahamuto. Everybody should watch this anime. <laughs> That's him. Look at his butt! Oh my god, look at his butt. BUTT! <laughs> Dude, Shingeki no Bahamut is so pretty. Such a pretty anime. I love their relationship, by the way. It's so funny. <laughs> Oh, it's a gif. It's a gif. <laughs> Just going. <laughs> Aw, cute. I like them. I love Shingeki no Bahamut. Good anime. Everyone watch Shingeki no Bahamut. Anyway, I guess that's Azazel. Lo is from Azazel. Anyway, let's keep going. Research Institute for Arts and Technology, or RIAT, is an independent, <coughs> an international research institute established in 2012 in Austria and operating internationally. The aim of the institute is to investigate how technology and art can relate and inform each other. Pacific sheath-tailed bat, what? <laughs> or Polynesian sheath-tailed bat? Is a species of sack winged bat, what? In the family Embaloneridae, found in American Samoa, Fiji, Guam, Micronesia, Palau, Samoa, where it is called Peavai, Tagiti, or Pea Peavai, Tonga, and something something. Oh, it has a little picture, look at him. Cute. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> what is. <laughs> Research Institute for Art and Technology, or uh, Pacific Sheet's Tailed Bat. I feel like the Institute for Art and Technology is probably <clears throat> at least maybe more views. Sorry, I'm adjusting my chair. <laughs> I think so, anyway. Can't be sure. Um, I'm gonna say more views. Because I don't know uh, how popular this bat is. Aw, oh, man, I lost! I've only had one total win. Once! I've only won once in this game. Damn. Alright, well. Let's try again. Saturno album is the third studio album <coughs> by Puerto Rican singer Rao Alejandro. It was released on November 11, 2022. Oh! Through Sony Music, Latin, and Duars Entertainment, the album features collaborations with Baby Rasta, DJ Playero, Chris Palace, Archangel, Archangel, Suelo Neo. Okay. Daniel Fry <laughs> was an American contact he, what? Who claimed he had multiple contacts with an alien. Oh. Oh, and took a ride in a remotely piloted alien spacecraft on July 4th, 1949. He was born in Verdon Township, Minnesota. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we have a Puerto Rican CD. Or, well, not CD. Who the fuck? No one uses CDs anymore. <laughs> we have a Puerto Rican album or a guy who had contact with aliens. What the heck? <laughs> Honestly, this might have more views because it's really recent. November 11th, 2022. Versus just one guy who claims to... 
Didn't the government recently say they shot down some, like, alien spacecraft or something? What's that about? <laughs> uh, the world gets to be more and more confusing and stressful every day that I'm alive. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I think the album has more views. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this one is longer, though. Interesting. Ooh. Erdmuthe, Erdmuth Maria Theresia of Dietrichstein. Uh, okay. Was an Austrian noblewoman, Princess of Liechtenstein, by marriage to Hans Adam, the first Prince of Liechtenstein. Or Reginald Hooley. It's a funny name. Was the businessman an amateur paleontologist? How are you an amateur paleontologist? Collecting on the Isle of Wight. He is probably best remembered for describing... <laughs> Sorry, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> describing the dinosaur iguanodon. I'm going off of like barely four hours of sleep and they were not... It was like two hours, then I had to be awake, and then I got another two hours, and now I'm awake again. <laughs> so that's what we're working with today. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have an Austrian noblewoman versus some kind of paleontologist. Dude, I don't know. She has a, a painting of herself, though. This guy doesn't even have a picture. So... <laughs> I don't know. Who do you think does more in their life to see, like, which one is longer? Do you think that noble people, noble folk do more like cuz they it's kind of political, right? So they have a lot of political stuff that they probably do. She was a princess, so I mean that's something versus a businessman slash amateur paleontologist. <laughs> Which one is longer? I feel like because we don't even know if Walter Hooley, Reginald Hooley, got married or has kids or has, like, a whole ass life. But the Austrian princess definitely had a life. <laughs> I think the princess one is longer, but I feel like that's wrong. I'm prepared to be wrong. Ooh! <laughs> Just barely. Oh my god, do you see? I'll split that. Oh wow. Damn, she also has way more views. Damn. Okay, sorry, Hooli. You're nothing compared to the fucking Austrian princess of Liechtenstein. Strakhovanie <laughs> Rabotik. I have no idea. Workers Insurance was a Menshevik journal published in St. Petersburg, Russia. But that's where uh, I think I think that's where Victor lives in Yuriana. <laughs> I can't be sure though. <laughs> From December 1912 to June 1918. Okay, so journal published in Russia or Mesoarchaean is a geologic era in the Archaean eon spanning 3200 to 2800 million years ago, which contains the first evidence of what? The first evidence of what? What? <laughs> we have a picture. Quick, what do you guys think happened fucking 3,000 million years ago? <laughs> That's so long ago. Were humans around at that point? I have a feeling no. Were dinosaurs around at that point? <laughs> I'm really bad. History was not my good subject. It was not my strong suit in school. <laughs> History and math, I think. Science, I was okay at. Like, science is understandable enough, but, like, trying to remember all the dates of history, uh-uh. And then trying to, like, work with num- Maybe I just have a bad relationship with numbers. <laughs> like, I cannot fathom how long ago this was, and I don't- I've never heard of this. I have no idea. <laughs> Um. Mm, 
I feel like this. Mm. This one might be longer. I'm not sure which one would have more views or not. Because this could be a really famous journal and I just don't know. But there could be a lot of people interested in this era. Or sorry, the Eon. <sighs> it's an... It's... An era within an eon. Sorry, I was drinking water. But it contains the first evidence of something. I feel like it might be longer. Ooh, yeah! Okay, I have to see what it is. Microbial life! Oh, wait. The first evidence of modern style plate subduction. Oh! An expansion of microbial life. There you go, lads. There you go. Oh, this is nice. Look, they have a little... Oh, whoa. We're learning so much today. Archaean. Is it pronounced Archaean or Archean? I feel like Archaean is better. Proterozoic. Adden. Oh! Oh! Hayden? Ad? Hadin? <laughs> Hadean, maybe? Sounds a little bit like Heidelin to me. <laughs> Four billion years ago. Okay. Damn, what's this? Phanerozoic Eon. So that's like dinosaurs and stuff. Okay, so I, I see, I see, I see. Banded iron formation created during the Mesoarchaean era. Oh, wow. This is bringing me back to like... 8th grade science class. <laughs> cool, okay, so... Interesting. Modern style plate subduction. Wow, that's cool. Anyway, we're doing good so far. Milford Center, Ohio is a village in Union County, United States. The population was 792. Damn, that's not a lot of people. <laughs> the 2010 census. I mean, if there was 792 people in a room, that would be a lot of people. But like for a town or a village, it's... it's, it's, it's Modest, I suppose. I don't know. What the fuck are small towns anyway? I don't know. Anyway, Irwin Savage. Sa uh, Sa 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 I'm gonna go Savedra. Irwin Mario Savedra Flores, born 22 February 1996, is a Bolivian footballer who plays for Mamelodi Sundowns in the DSTV something something. I'm going to take a guess that the footballer or the soccer player is probably more popular recently. Like, more views. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but this one's longer. Interesting. Well, I guess because he's still relatively young. You know, he's in his 20s or 30s. Tw he'd be in his 20s, yeah. So he would... Uh, so he still has a lot to accomplish, you know? So maybe that's why his Wikipedia article isn't very long. <laughs> anyway. Mohequa. Mojeque? Mojeque? Or Pampa de la Lamas Mojeque? Mojeque? I have no idea. I'm so sorry. It's a large archaeological site located in the Casma province of Ancas region in northern Peru. Okay. Archaeologists believe it functioned as a temple or religious structure. It contains two large mounds, many smaller mounds, and multiple human remains, probably, or human graves or something. Field. Computer science. What? In computer science, data that has several parts known as a record can be divided into fields, data fields. Relational databases arrange, <laughs> arrange data as sets of database records, so-called rows. Each record consists of several fields. That's so general. The fields of all records form the columns. Uh, hmm. 
Honestly, this sounds way more interesting. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one might be longer and I don't know which one might have more views. We still have three hearts to go through, to burn through, so... It's okay if we get it wrong. <sighs> we can skip a duel once a run. It's like a get out of jail free card. I don't know, this is too generalized and I've never heard of this, even though it seems like a really cool place. I feel like this one might be longer, you know? I'm gonna go with longer. Ah! Are you kidding me? It was close though. Of course this one has more views. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I should have gone with more views. That's all right, that's all right. Walk it off, walk it off. Fuentes de Corberio. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I cannot pronounce things. I'm so sorry. Fuentes de Corbedo? Corbedo, maybe? I have no idea. Is one of the 54 parishes in Cangas del Narcea? 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 A municipality within the province and Atan autonomous community of Asturias in northern Spain. Okay. Or Tineke Fopma, born July 1953, is a retired Dutch cyclist who was active between 1973 and 1981. She won the road race at the 1975 UCI Road World Championships. Okay. So we have a famous bicyclist and a place in Spain. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's another... They're both really niche. Uh, I feel like the cyclist one is probably longer. Like, here, can we... 1975... Championships, but the thing she's holding This looks like it would be 1939 or 1959 or something No, that can't be right, but her jersey says like 1970 Or something What I'm trying to get at is that she might have won a lot of different things, so that her article might be longer. Right? I think longer. Ah! Damn it, more views again. Ah! No! Why am I so bad at this? I, oh god. Again with like the check names. It's always the check names that I cannot pronounce for shit. Um, <clears> Taijis? <throat> Taijike? Taijise? I have no idea. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's a municipality and village in Jisian district in the Hradec Kralov region of the Czech Republic. It has about 200 inhabitants. Okay, so another like rural villagey thing. Or, oh, they both have pictures, too. It's making it difficult. SCB-27, known as 27-Alpha or 27-Charlie. What? There's no A in this. Why is it 27-Alpha? Whatever. It was the United States Navy designation for a series of upgrades to the Essex-class aircraft carriers. I have, I feel like I just read Word Soup. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> um, hmm. I feel like this probably has more views. People love old American Navy shit. <laughs> okay, we might we might make it just yet. We might we might make it. Matt Wilson, footballer, and nicknamed Daddy Wilson. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, this was back in the 1800s. Never mind. <laughs> One of 
was an Irish international footballer who played club football for something. Or Giordano, another footballer. Oh no. But this one was born in August 1993, commonly known as Giordano. Is a Brazilian footballer playing in defender position. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> this guy is also like in his 20s or 30s. No, 20s. Yeah, he'd be in like his late 20s, I think. Which means I think he probably has more views based and then compared to this guy from 18. 40 to 18, mm, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's also longer, wow. Impressive. Jenks Baronets. The Jenks Baronetsy of Cheap? <laughs> Chepe? I don't know. In the city of London is a title in the Baronetage of the United Kingdom. Or Oliver Benitez. Oliver Benitez Paul. Paz, born the 7th of June 1991, is an Argentine professional foot another footballer, damn, who plays as center back. Another person who's in their late 20s, 30s, probably 30s by now. Maybe. <laughs> um, 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 I think it has more views. People love football. People don't give a shit about baronetage and whatever. <laughs> okay, Darian King. Oh, nice picture. Look at his bicep. Wow. Strong. Born 26th of April, 1992. Okay, another person in like their 30s, late 20s is a Barbadian tennis player. Excuse me. He has a career high association of tennis professionals singles ranking of world number 106 achieved on May 8th, 2017 and a career high ATP doubles ranking of 156 achieved on October 21st, 2019. Oh, Yokoku is a song written by Japanese singer-songwriter Aiko. Never heard of it. It was released as a single by Pony Canyon. I've heard of Pony Canyon. That's an anime studio on November 29th, 2017. Oh, this is definitely more popular, I think. Well, maybe. I don't know. The song premiered on the Jolf radio program. <laughs> Takashi, Takashi Okamura's All Night Nippon on November 2nd, 2017. Song written in. Now, granted, I have not heard of this song. It might be really popular. Singer songwriter Aiko. It doesn't say that she's like an idol or anything, so maybe she's not as popular. Yokoku. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, this one might be longer. I can't say which one has more views, but I think the tennis player is probably longer. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, and it had... Okay, so I don't think this is a very popular song. <laughs> I'm sorry to Aiko. But, uh, maybe it was used in an anime. Like, what is the... Singles. Koyo Stanoa. Audio sample. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh! It was pretty high on the charts. Huh. So maybe it was pretty popular in Japan, but not in America. <laughs> And it, it doesn't look like it is part of any anime. That's so weird. If it was Pony Canyon. What? First single in over a year. Wrote the song to cheer herself up, intending for it to serve as a sort of personal anthem. That's nice. Pony Canyon 
Is it more than just like an animation studio? Pony Kyang. Oh, Mass Media Publishing Company. Okay. Huh. All right. Oh, wow. I guess they're more into music than they are into anime. That's weird. I just know that the um Binankoko Tikyu Boebu anime, the Magical Boy anime. Tikyu Boebu is by Pony Canyon. <laughs> Maybe Oh, here, Cute High Earth in English. Cute High Earth Defense Club loves. They was released by like Pony Canyon. Yeah, see? In North America. Oh, it's in the... I would have to look at the Japanese one, I guess. But anyway. There you go. Pony Canyon, see? That's how I know about Pony Canyon. Huh. But I guess they're more music than they are anime and stuff. That's interesting. Huh. Anyway, well, we got it right, so that's good. Uh, Elihu H. Mason. He, oh, they both have pictures. Uh-oh. Was a Union Army soldier in the American Civil War and a recipient of the United States military's highest decoration, the Medal of Honor, for his actions in the blank blank blank. Or we have Snuckaburin. <laughs> Is a village in the Liu Warden Le Le Liu Warden municipality in the province of Friesland, the Netherlands. It had a population of 225 small, small towns <laughs> in January 2017. Okay. Dude, I have no idea. Honestly, this one might be longer. But also, people, again, they love old American history. Especially Civil War stuff. There's, like, still... I'm sorry if it offends anyone, but, like, there's still Civil War reenactments and shit that happen. It's like, what? Why? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, mm. uh, I'm gonna say more views. Oh, yeah. Okay. what I tell you? Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't try to go with long- Wait, which one is longer? I can't even tell. This one. Okay, this one's a little longer. That's insane. That's crazy. They're like the exact same length. <laughs> okay. David... Soccer dote? Sacer dote? Sacer dote? I don't know. David, this one, was an Italian composer and banker. He is the earliest known Jewish composer of polyphonic music of which any has survived. Details of his life are sketchy. Oh, he was born in Rover and is known to have lived in Ca Ca Casale, Aki, and Cortemilla. All right. Or Marcelo Sadin, known as El Turco, was an Argentine serial... Ra okay. Wow. Wow. Um, uh, I don't even want to read all of that out loud. <laughs> Was suspected of attacking around double to triple. Wow! To avoid arrest, he killed. That is a horrible person. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, I want to skip this one. I'm just gonna skip it. I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> La Tigresa del Oriente. Wow. Hua Juana. Juana. Judith Boost. Dos ahu, ahu, I don't know. And she was born in 1945. It's best known as La Tigresa del Oriente, the Eastern Tigress, the East being the Peruvian Amazon. Oh, is a Peruvian singer, hairdresser, actress, makeup artist, and model. Due to the popularity of her videos on YouTube, I don't know. She looks like a very interesting person. <laughs> I'd like to know that person. Lubiesiznyak Drugi is a village in the administrative district of. Oh my god. Gminia Noi Dwar Gdanski within Noi Dwar Gdanski County, Pomeranian? 
Pomeranian Voivodeship in northern Poland. It lies approximately eight kilometers south. I'm gonna go ahead and take a wild guess that La Tigresa del Oriente has more views. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh wait, I did it! I won! I won! Yay! I did it, I won! Thank you, La Tigresa! La Tigresa, thank you! We should look at her article. To celebrate. Look at her, wow, she is stunning. Yay, thanks, Dad. <laughs> wow. Ah, she became an internet meme. Wow. Oh no, she got COVID. That's sad. That's cool. Wow. Criticism. Campy. What? <laughs> Oh. Wow. Sad. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I still think she's kind of cool. I guess we can go look at the- Enjoy the confetti. Enjoy the ambiance of victory. Ah. Uh, nice. Let me take a good stretch. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Total wins two. We're gonna rack them up. Alright. Sugo Dam. It's Sugo Damu. <laughs> Sugo, I guess. I don't know. Is a gravity dam located in Hyogo Prefecture in Japan. The dam is used for flood control. Excuse me. The catchment area of the dam is 8.7 square kilometers. The dam impounds about 13 hectic. Uh, 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 <laughs> hectares? I don't even know. It's not even hecta acres. There's, unless that's a typo, but I don't think it is. Windfall and can store this many. Wow, amazing. Year 2025 was a common year starting on Saturday of the Julian calendar. At the time, it was known as the year of the consulship of Fuscus and Domitius, or less frequently, year 900, <laughs> 978 Ab Urbe Condita. Uh, this one has a picture. A random Japanese dam or the year 225. <laughs> um, I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like this one might at least be longer. Is the Sugo Dam? Special in any way? <laughs> I don't know. Is it longer or more views? I'm leaning towards more views for this one, so let's see. Oh, yeah, dude, Sugo Dam ain't shit. <laughs> Sorry for anyone who really likes the Sugo Dam. <laughs> Orange Field High School was a secondary school in East Belfast, Northern Ireland. Buffalo Hills are a mountain range in Washoe County, Nevada. Nevada? Nevada. Nevada? Nevada. <laughs> um... I don't know. This says was a school, so maybe it's not 
there anymore. Whereas Buffalo Hills are still... They didn't get wiped off the map or anything. <laughs> um... 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 Did something happen? At Orangefield High School, though? I can't rule that out. I don't know. I don't know, man. What do you think, Dad? Calling you out. That's right. It's audience participation time. Get your stuff together. What do you think? Which one do you think has more views or is longer? <laughs> I feel like this music is going to slowly drive me insane. Did I pick the one time where he's not actually watching? <laughs> uh, um, stuck on ads. Oh, okay. Are you here now? Can you hear me? Hello? Meow? Nyan? Nyan 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 Okay, refreshed. <laughs> what do you think? Audience participation time. Which one do you think is longer or has more views? <clears throat> Orangefield High School or Buffalo Hills Mountain Range? <laughs> Oranger furled more views. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're correct. All right. Good job. Ooh, there's pictures for both of these. Arctic Circle Organization. Founded by former president of Iceland, Olafur Ragnar Grimson. Grimson. Former Alaska Dispatch publisher, Alice Rogoff. Former premier of Greenland, Kupik Kleist. And other partners. The organization's mission is... We'll never know. St. Catherine of Alexandria. Okay. St. <laughs> Catherine of Alexandria is a tempera on panel paint. Oh, it's a painting. I thought it meant just like the actual saint. <laughs> Created circa? Created circa 1512 by Luca Signorelli. It is a fragment from the predella of a lost altarpiece. It is now in the Museo Horne, Horn in Florence. Oh god, I don't know. I feel like the Arctic Circle one is probably longer. Because there's only so much you can write about a painting versus this organization might have done a lot. <sighs> I'm gonna go with longer. Hell yeah! <laughs> Let's see what their mission is, shall we? Uh, the organization's mission is to facilitate dialogue among political and business leaders, environmental experts, scientists, indigenous representatives, and other international stakeholders to address issues facing the Arctic as a result of climate change and melting sea ice. International organization with a secretariat based in Reykjavik, Reykjavik, Reykjavik Iceland. Cool! That's pretty cool. Seems like a good thing. Could secretly be a bad thing and I would never know, but... <laughs> Seems like a good thing. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. This has a picture. Von Nugen. Nugen? Nugen. Born Nugen... 
I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm not good. I think this is... Taiwanese, maybe? Nugen T. Hong Van? I'm so sorry. Is an Israeli poet, actress, journalist. I'm so sorry. <laughs> poet, actress, journalist, and something. Okay. Or Arthur C. Fat? <laughs> Fat? That's an unfortunate last name. Was an American advertising executive at the Gray Advertising Agency. Dude, I don't know. Uh, this guy is dead. This actress is still alive. So I'm gonna say the actress has more views. Cause you know, yeah, it, it makes sense that they would have more views. Okay. List of people from Davenport, Iowa. What? The following list includes notable people who were born or have lived in Davenport, Iowa. Versus Marie Chantal Perron. Born February 1st, 1967. Is a Canadian actress and fashion designer. <sighs> Honestly, she probably has more views. Oh, shit! Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> List got to be way long. So, oh, wow. I didn't expect it to have more views too, though. Dang. Marie, you got to get on it. <laughs> the list of people from fucking Iowa is showing you up. <laughs> okay. So, well, that's our first heart, so it's all right. It's all right. Um, Basim Serbekisik? Serbeki? I have no idea. I'm so sorry. Born the 1st of May 1998 is a Bosnian professional fo oh, another footballer who plays as a center back for elite Serian club Alessand and the Bosnia and Herzegovina Govina national team. Started his professional career at this place. All right. Good to know. Basehead. What? Also known as DC Basehead and Basehead 2.0 is an American alternative rock band. Okay, that makes sense. Formed by Michael Ivey in 1992. Ivey serves as the group's songwriter and leader, performing vocals and various instruments. Basehead's 1992 debut album Play With Toys was recorded at blank blank blank. Um, I mean, I've never heard of Basehead, so I don't know if they're like popular especially because it's like with the last 60 days so but then again you know 1992 wasn't that long ago either and this footballer was born 1998 so he's still young um I don't know, Nyan. I have no idea. This is a hard one. Hmm. I feel like the band would be more popular, right? That's just me, though. Which one would be longer? I mean, the band was formed in 99, so they've had a while to uh to write songs and stuff unless they it, the 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 article is in present tense though so i don't think the band has like broken up necessarily they could still be together theoretically Bessim more views okay if you're wrong i'm blaming you oh you were right congratulations <laughs> yes the footballer had more views Time Commando is an action-adventure computer and video game developed by Adeline Software and published by Electronic Arts in Europe, Activision in America, United States and Brazil, and Version Interactive, PlayStation Version, and Acclaim Entertainment, Sega Saturn Version. Always pick the soccer guy. I guess, yeah, just because I don't really understand soccer or have any super profound interest in it, it doesn't mean it's not, you know, one of the most popular things in the world. <laughs> Oh, ooh, Yukio Kagayama. Kagayama is very close to Kageyama from Haikyuu. 
Kagayama. Kagayama. He has more kanji though. Kageyama, his kanji is just like a shadow mountain. Kagayama has three kanji. <laughs> Yukio Kagayama, born May 4th, 1974, is a Japanese professional motorcycle road racer. He began his motorcycle. It says motorcycle, but he's sitting on a car. <laughs> I guess there's a motorcycle behind him over here. <laughs> He began his career competing in the Japanese National Championships before racing internationally in Grand Prix Motorcycle Racing, Superbike World, blank blank. Uh, so it's between a video game and a motorcycle racer. I feel like the video game is probably more popular. I don't- it doesn't say when the game came out, but like... As far as I know, Activision is not super old. It might be. I have no idea. I'm not- listen, I know that I'm a streamer, and I know that we play a lot of video games here, but I'm not, like, a super, you know, in-depth gamer. I've only been gaming for, like, dude. I've only been gaming for, like, four years. <laughs> like, seriously gaming. I've done- you know, I've played video games at friends' houses and stuff, but, like, <laughs> I've never actually tried to play video games by myself until, like, four years ago. So, a little late bloomer. I have no idea what Time Commando is or when it was released. <laughs> I have no idea how old Activision is. <laughs> the Sega- wait, okay, but Sega Saturn, I do know that that is a very old console. I think that is, like- Probably around, like, the N64, like, you know, that era, probably, like, the 70s or 80s, Sega Saturn. It's sa I remember it being old. <laughs> Sega Saturn. So, like, an old video game versus motorcycle racing. I think the video game has more views, at least. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, they don't- Oh, they do have a picture. Why didn't they put the picture? Oh, yeah, that's definitely old. 1996, baby! I was way off. <laughs> well, I said 80s. You know, 70s or 80s. I guess it was 90s, but... <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> hey, hey. Interesting, interesting. Let's take a look at Sega. So, see, look at this shit. That's actually really cute. I like the color scheme. That's really cute. The primary colors and like the pink. Of course, Model 2 is from Japan. Of course, it's the cuter one. <laughs> Dude, I think more. I mean, I'm happy to live in an age where there are options for people who enjoy cuter consoles, you know? Like, there's. I mean, like, you know, the Nintendo Switch isn't inherently cute per se, but there's like tons and tons of different cases you can get for it or like you can customize it. So like that, that kind of customization that you can do nowadays to make it like super, super girly or super, super pink or pastel or cute like I have. <laughs> like you can make your setup look like this if you want to nowadays, but... There used to be a time when video games were solely seen as like, oh, it's more boyish or it's more masculine, so we have to make it look cool. It can't look cute. It has to look cool. Ridiculous. Anyway. <laughs> 2008 All-Ireland Senior Fogado, another football championship. Was that year's Gaelic football championship having thrown in? Does that mean started? Yeah, I guess that means started on May 11, 2008 and concluded with the All-Ireland Final at Croke Park on September 21st, 2008. Tyrone beat Kerry in the decider. This is written in a language I do not understand. <laughs> the draw for the provincial something something, okay? 1908 Inver Cargill mayoral election. I'm not even gonna bother reading that. I'm gonna go with what my dad said for the... <laughs> So football. I'm gonna say more views. Yeah. Oh yeah, wow. Always go with the football guys. Said Kwomi. I think I 
butchered that. I'm butchering all the foreign names except Japanese names because I understand Japanese. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was an Iranian Shia philosopher of Qom's school. Okay. Or Twyford Church? Twyford Church of England Academies Trust is a multi-academy trust based in West London and blank blank blank. Um, I don't know, Nyan. What's a trust? <laughs> just like a group? <laughs> just like, just like a couple of gal pals? <laughs> just a handful of girly pops <laughs> deciding laws and shit or something? <laughs> Academy trust. Based in Westland. What? I feel like the philosopher is probably... It's probably a bit longer, at least. Let's see. Oh, shit! Oh, damn. Dang, we only have three more. Trust fund? Oh. Well, no, because you... I'm... I am recalling. <laughs> I am... Bringing information into my brain from a long time ago, there was something called like the Brain Trust with like, was it Theodore Roosevelt? And that was like a group. It wasn't, it didn't really have to do with like a bank fund or anything, right? Eh, as we've already so very clearly established, I do not know anything. <laughs> Uh, the 2005 Women's Indoor Pan American Cup was the third edition of the Indoor Pan American Cup, an indoor hockey competition. The tournament was held in Kitchener, Canada from... Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I read it as 9-11. They, they, they could have typed that differently. <laughs> They could have been handled from the 9th to the 11th of December. Canada won the tournament for the first time, defeating the United States 2-1 in the final. Or we have antibody dependent enhancement. Sometimes less precisely called immune enhancement or disease enhancement is a phenomenon in which binding of a virus to suboptimal antibodies enhances its entry into host cells followed by its replication. The suboptimal antibody... Alright. I have a feeling it might just be me but I feel like the antibody dependent enhancement thing I feel like there's a lot of med students that are researching this probably <laughs> versus one indoor hockey competition from 2005 I think this has more views I might be wrong I'm sorry if I'm wrong I was right hell yeah <laughs> <clears throat> Ceilings of the Natural History Museum in London. A pair of decorated ceilings in the main central hall, officially Hintze Hall since 2014, and smaller north hall of the Natural History Museum of South Kensington, London, blank blank. Rota ovula septemacula is a species of sea snail, a marine gastropod mollusk in the family Ovulidae, the ovulids, cowrie allies, or false cowries. What the heck? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. What do you think, father? Skip? <laughs> okay. Oh, it doesn't count it, though. It doesn't count it as, like, a win. Clarenso? Claren... Clarensu? 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 I have no idea. King of Arms, historically often spelled this way, both pronounced that, is an officer of arms at the College of Arms in London. Claren Cla Claren Clarence is the senior of the two provincial kings of arms and his jurisdiction is that part of England south of the blank. Okay. Or Michael Johnson, drummer. Michael Wayne Johnson is an American pop singer and drummer formerly of the boy band. <laughs> formerly of the boy band Natural. He performed with 
various projects until joining Mark Terenzi in a new band, Terenzi. Who names a band after their last name? What? <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's a hell of an ego. In 2008. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know about this one, Yan. Hmm. <sighs> Drummer for views? You think so? Ah! You were wrong! You led me astray! No! Damn. That's alright. We got one win this stream. As long as you get one win per stream, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> alright. We have precision polygon. <laughs> precision polygons are basic standards for angle measurement, which are used... I calibrated my laboratories in particular. Multifaceted polygons are used for calibration of rotary tables and dividing heads. Any number of faces can be produced, okay? Or Aslan, Aslan, Abashidze, born in 1938, is the former leader of the... He's not still alive, is he? Is... Oh, is the former leader? <laughs> no idea. Is the former leader of the Ajarian Autonomous Republic in Western Georgia. He served in this capacity from August 18th. I'm sorry, I'm really sleepy. To May 5th, 2004. Okay, it pisses me off that they wrote the dates differently. Why is this one written? in the normal Wikipedia format, and this one is written in a different way. What the heck? He resigned under the pressure of the Central Georgian government and mass something. I don't know, Nyan. I have no idea. Precision polygon is... Probably more views, right? Oh my god! <laughs> What did he do? Why is it so... What? Hang on. Maybe he's controversial or something. Mass opposition rallies. Oh, so people just really, really hate him. Guilty of misuse of office. Embezzlement? Holy shit. Okay, yep. 15 years imprisonment. Charge of murder? Holy shit! Dude, Aslan! <laughs> okay, he is like a criminal, I guess. <laughs> Damn, I guess that's all right. Well, that, that, that'll do it. That'll get you more views, I guess. Damn! Starting off uh, on a wrong foot today with this. Nea, Nia, and Kialos National Airport. It's a Greek airport located near the town of Nea Ankielos in Greece. It serves the Department of Magnesia and is also known as Central Greece Airport. Or Miles M15, Mach 15, was a 1930s British single-engined monoplane trainer aircraft. My dad will love this. He loves airplanes. <laughs> I have no idea what any of this means. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of get- it helps that there's a picture, but like... <laughs> <laughs> with two open cockpits designed and developed by Miles Aircraft. Like other aircraft constructed to the official specification, it failed to meet the performance requirements, and only two were built. Oh, wow. I don't know. Well, it's an airport and an airplane. That's kind of funny. What a coincidence that they're, like, related. Well, we did get two football soccer players earlier. <laughs> Um, this is one of those games where the longer you play it, the more your brain just melts, and I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> I thought I was a pretty smart person, but then I play this game and I'm humbled real quick. 
<laughs> uh, a Greek airport? I don't know, man. Greek airport or old ass plane? Greek airport probably has more views. Yeah, okay, alright, there we go. Um, Anokhelal Misra, also spelled as this and commonly known as this, was an Indian tabla artist who belonged to the Banaras Garana of something. San Pier Damiani ai Monti di San Paolo <laughs> is a 20th century par parochial church and titular. <laughs> Don't laugh, you children. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> In the southwest suburbs of Rome, dedicated to the 11th century St. Peter Damien. Okay. I have no idea. They're both... No, okay. Left is an artist. Right is a church. <sighs> um, maybe the artist one is longer? Unless this church has, like, I don't know, a list of events that happened or, like, Maybe it has some artwork in it or something? I don't know. I, I think the artist one is maybe longer. Yeah, baby! Do you think some of the artwork he did is in this? Oh, he's a musician? Oh, okay. The top- the I'm so d the tabla is an instrument. <laughs> a pair of twin hand drums. <laughs> Somewhat similar in shape. To I wonder what they sound like. Do they have a sound sample? <gasps> they do! Oh, it's these ones! Ah, sorry, sorry. I hope we can hear it over the game music. Ooh, he's feeling it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Why are you s don't don't zoom in on his face? That's so weird. That's so uncomfortable. <laughs> Look at his hands go, man. Damn. Guy probably has finger muscles of a fucking god. <laughs> So it's, yeah, it's kind of like the, hey, oh, that was cute. Did you see the little wave he did? He's cute. I like him. <laughs> it's like the little twangy drum. I've heard that drum before. Okay, okay. Cool. Tabla. That's cool. You learn something new every day. All right, let's keep going. Oh, Tim Hortons. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Tim Hortons. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got so excited. I had a phase. <laughs> I didn't have a phase. I still, I love Canada. I love, like, Canadian things. I couldn't tell you why. I don't know. It's just, like, interesting to me. <laughs> because it's, like, in some ways... Don't get mad. Don't get mad about uh, what I'm about to say. In some ways, it's very similar to America, but then in a lot of other ways, it's completely different. So, like, <laughs> Canada just has always kind of seemed like the cooler version <laughs> of America. <laughs> that's gonna piss someone. I know that that's rude to say it's the cooler version. It's not. It's like a. It's its, its own fucking country. I know that, but, like, <laughs> You know, Canada and America are like siblings in a way, you know? They, I think Canadians would fucking recoil at that. They would hate to be compared to America as siblings. <laughs> Canada is cooler though. I like Canada. Don't I'm not trying to like, you know, shame Canada or like drag Canada. I love Canada. I love Tim Hortons. <laughs> I've only been there like once though. 
Tim Hortons Incorporated, commonly nicknamed Tim's or Timmy's, is a Canadian multinational coffee house and restaurant chain. Based in Toronto, Tim Hortons serves coffee donuts and other fast food items. It is Canada's largest quick service restaurant chain with 5,352 restaurants. Blank, blank. Or fucking chromatolysis. In cellular, sorry, in cellular neuroscience. <sighs> Chromatolysis is the dissolution of the nissel bodies in the cell body of a neuron. It is an induced response of the cell, usually triggered by axotomy, ish ischemia, toxicity to the cell, cell exhaustion, virus infections, and hibernation in lower something. Oof, dude, I think Tim Hortons has more views. Who gives it? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Man, we love Tim Hortons. <laughs> People go crazy for Tim Hortons. <laughs> Bill Hoest. William Pierce Hoest was an American cartoonist, best known as the creator of the gag panel series The Lockhorns, distributed by King Feature Syndicate's 500 newspapers in 23 countries. Wow. And Laugh Parade for Parade. He also created other blank, blank, blank. List of restriction enzyme cutting. We keep getting these like medical sciencey things. <laughs> enzyme cutting sites T through Z. This article contains a list. Oh, we got another list of the most studied restriction enzymes whose names start with T to Z inclusive. It contains approximately 70 enzymes. The following information is given enzyme, except the name of the molecule according to the internationally adopted nomenclature. Okay. I think it's longer. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, we did it. Well, we're only like halfway through. Yon. Yon. Yun. I, I, sh I should know how to read, but I don't. It's the Turkish word for direction, I guess? Was a weekly Turkish political magazine published between 1961 and 1967. Or we have Erzhum pig is a meat pig breed from Russia. <laughs> Dude, fuck if I know. <laughs> I don't... I am not sure. Um... Hmm. Political magazine or a meat pig breed? Maybe the pig has more views because this... Magazine is kind of old. I'm gonna say more views. Because it could... Oh, shit. Nope. Alright. Well, one more heart. <laughs> Lucan or Lucans is a surname. Notable people with the surname include Andre, Andre, Lucan, Russian chess player and coach, Dean Lucan, Austrian weightlifter, Henry Lucan, South African military commander, George Lucans, Yadin... Demoniac? Lionel Lucan. Okay. Or World Police Indoor Soccer Tournament is an international futsal tournament for police. Oh, hi. Oh, there's a baby. It's Camille. Everybody, please welcome Camille Honey to the stream. Hello, Camille. My sweet baby. Hello, little baby. Oh, good stretch. Good scratch. She stretched and scratched the scratching post. She's amazing. Multitasking. Hi, baby. She's up in my lap now. Hello, my sweet Camille. Hi, baby. How are you doing? My sweet Camille. Hi. Do you want a hug? Here you go, baby. Mwah, mwah, mwah. My special, special nyan. You're my sweetie, sweetie. My sweet little Camille. Yes. My sweet baby. She's so nice. My little honey, honey. Oh, yeah. My sweetest nyan. Little baby, baby. Such a good honey. 
<laughs> She's just letting me hug her. <laughs> yes, my sweet, sweet little Camille. Hi. Hi, Camille. How are you doing today? Are you okay? Uh, what is it? Futsal tournament for police officers. This contest takes place every year in Ibergen, Ibergen, Gronello, and Zuvent in the Netherlands. Those cities are near the border with Germany. In the early 1980s, the Ibergen police. I guess we go with football for more views, like Dad said. Nope. Shit. <laughs> We only got four. I think the last time we only got three, so you know <laughs> in the in the last stream that we did of this game, we started off low and then we won like right at the end. But for this one we won at the beginning and now we suck for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Why well, we got another like fucking hour and a half of the oh god. <laughs> Alright. Percentages agreement. The percentages agreement was a secret in- Oh! Sorry, her tail just flapped the microphone. The percentages agreement was a secret informal agreement between British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and Soviet leader Joseph Stalin during the 4th Moscow Conference in October 1944. It gave the percentage division of control over Eastern European countries. Blank, 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 blank. Okay. Uh, looks like there's a little fucking white paper that says, like, Romania or something. 90%. Something, something. Hungary and Bolivia? Bol Bol I cannot read this man's handwriting. <laughs> but anyway, it's like dividing it up by percent. All right, makes sense. Lassio Glossum Figure SE, formerly known as Dialectus, is whatever, is a solitary s what? Excuse wait, what? Solitary sweat bee that is part of the family Halictidae of the order Hymenoptera, found in Central America. It nests in vertical earthen banks, which are Normally inhabited by one, though sometimes two are you- Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is a sweat bee? <laughs> Do bees sweat? Uh, anyway. <laughs> I feel like the percentages agreement might have <coughs> more views. Mmm. Any input from the peanut gallery? I'll give you a chance. Since this is the first question, You're, you'll decide the fate of this run for Wiki Arena. <laughs> you can decide. If you had the chance to change your fate, would ya? You should take it. Agreement longer, okay. You are correct. It also has more views, like I thought. <laughs> Alright, Eschkoft Fars uh, is a village in Hamaijan Rural District, Hamaijan District, Sepidan County, or 2015 Sparkison ATP Challenger Doubles, <coughs> which I guess is a tennis thing. Maximilian Newchrist? Newchrist? And. Tristan Samuel Weissborn won the title, defeating Nicola Mektik and Antonio San... Sansik? Sankik? I don't know. In the final. Uh... So, a rural village or... Tennis... Titan... I'm gonna say more views. Oh, fuck! What?! Damn, all right, well. <laughs> via Condotti, named always Via Condotti, <laughs> is a busy and fashionable street of Rome, Italy. In Roman times, it was one of the streets 
that crossed the ancient Via Flaminia and enabled people who traversed the t Tiber, Tiber, to reach the Pincio Hill. Okay, water boys too. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> water boys too is a Japanese drama series aired in Japan on Fuji Television in 2004. The series is very closely related in style to the first season of Water Boys, except set in a girls' school. What the fuck? <laughs> we have to look at this article. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. The street one might have more... I don't know how popular Water Boys is. It honestly sounds like a porno. Like, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if it's really popular or not. I've never heard of it. Uh... Mm... I'm gonna say longer. Yeah! And more views. Alright, let's see Water Boys. What the fuck is a Water Boys? Uh, three years ago, former all girl Himeno High School. That school started his nomination. Relation. Eikichi Mizushima transfers his officers to Alba High School in Tokyo. He was swimming team. Okay. See, with his grandfather, Kamikichi, his father was in New York City, starting a new business. Okay. Yosuke Yamamoto always wanted to have a boys' sports club in the school. We heard about Ikishi as well as Sunday, so I think Zone, starting from scratch, but let's go through some hardships, start their own swimming club. So this ended up starting a position of the female presence. Does not sound like something I would watch, honestly. <laughs> the whole starting your own swim club is interesting, because that's the premise of, like, free. The uh, swimming club anime, free, but strong opposition of the female press like that i don't know so that uh, doesn't sound right <laughs> anyway sardana trofimova is a russian long distance runner okay or idan vered is an israeli professional footballer who plays as a winger for hapol petatikva again football i think they're really close. They were both born around the same time, so they're about the same age. Two, like, semi-young athletes. I don't know, are, is 30 still young for athletes? I think so. I'm gonna go more views, like Dad said. Yep. Damn, that's sad. Let's give her article a view. <laughs> Long distance runner. Oh, it's really short. Okay. She won like two things. Pretty good. Huh. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh gosh. Look at these two terrifying old men. <laughs> Carl Zier Letter, Let Leather, I don't know. And there was a Swiss politician who served as the first mayor of Bern. Or George Magerkirth, Major Magerkirth, was a professional baseball umpire who worked in the National League. Is that his terrifying umpire face? He's trying to scare the pitcher or whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna believe that's why he's making that face and that he's actually not like a bad person. He's just trying to be intimidating. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> uh, um. Once again, I do not know. I feel like the umpire... Mm, we might have to go off of which one is longer, because I don't... I feel like 
neither of these have a lot of views. <laughs> um, a politician? Maybe longer. Damn it. <laughs> we still have one heart. We can still win. It's a long shot, but it's still possible. This is giving me some kind of phobia. I don't like how this looks. <laughs> anyway, Mesolia Scythrastis is a moth in the family Crambidae. It was described by Turner in 1904. It is found in Australia, where it has been recorded from Queensland, blank, blank, blank. Or Peziza vesiculosa is a species of apoth... The what? Apothecial? 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 Fungus belonging to the family Pezizaceae. It is. I'm really trying not to say pizza. Like pizza CA. <laughs> this is a common species of Europe with scattered records in other parts of the world. Uh, okay, so we have. A moth or a mushroom? Fuck if I know, man. They're both like scientific type of articles, so I don't know which one would be longer. Mm. If it was. It says it was described by Turner in 1904, not that it was like discovered in 1904. For the moth one. I don't know. I don't know Nyan. I have no idea Nyan. Mushroom has more views. Oh! Hell yeah. That one's for Mushy. Dude loves mushrooms. <laughs> Center Point Medical Center is a hospital located in Independence, Missouri at this address. It is part of the HCA Midwest Division. Francis Close was the an an Anglican rector of Sheltenham and Dean of Carlisle. Uh... I have no idea, no idea, no idea, I have no idea, no fucking idea. Anglican rector, is it? Uh, so a really old dude, a dead dude, <laughs> or a man, I feel like this might have more views. Yeah, ooh, just barely. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Alright, Saputara. Is a hill station located in Sa Sahyadris or Western Ghats? Saputara town is blank 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 blank. Okay. Or Filer High School is a high school in Filer, Idaho, United States. What? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. The last time we got a high school, it had more views. Do people look up their high schools on Wikipedia? Is that a thing? Does every high school have a Wikipedia page? This would be the first I'm hearing of it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe... Maybe this one is longer? It looks like... It looks really interesting. A hill station? I think it's longer. I was right. Oh, damn. It also has more views. What is this? High like, do high schools just... Oh, it's very short. It is so short. Oh, my gosh. All right, then. That's where it is. Right there. Shout out to anyone who goes to this high school. I... Hot... Dude, the likelihood of someone who went or is going... I, I think it's still in operation, yeah. Number of students. Oh, only 490? Damn. Open street map. Uh oh, annoying. Oops, I closed it. 
through the likelihood of someone finding <laughs> this video, this stream, or this VOD when it's on YouTube or something. The likelihood of someone who went to that high school. It's like lower. It's like 0.001%. <laughs> Especially because I only get like 10 views or so. <laughs> That's fine, though. That's... it's fine. <laughs> liaison Office of the Republic of South Africa. The Liaison... Liaison? Liaison Office of the Republic of South Africa. In Chinese, it's this. I cannot read that, even though I wish I could. <laughs> Represents the interests of South Africa in Taiwan in the absence of formal diplomatic relations functioning as a de facto embassy. It also provides vi visa... <laughs> I'm an idiot. Visa services. This counterpart of Taiwan is the Taipei blank blank blank. It's not enough to be loud. You have to suck to. What is the debut recording of Hullabaloo released through their own god awful records label in 1988? According to an anecdote on the band's Facebook page, the misspelling of the final two in the title is intentional. Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> The title comes from something. Um... A 1988 song. Or a de facto embassy in Taiwan. Uh, I feel like that was probably longer? I don't know which one would have more view... Maybe this one would have more views. I'm gonna go with more views. Oh yeah. Okay, good, good, good. All right, Nadzikambia. Currently two species are placed in the recently established genus Nadzikambia, derived from the species name in Chichewa. They are plesiomorphic small chameleons from the Rua Gorge Forest on Mount Mul Mulanje in Malawi and Mount Mabu in Mozambique. Initially placed into blank blank blank. Or Komun Moru ruins are primitive relics discovered in Sangwang County, Pyongyang, North Korea. Many of the relics are on display at the Korean Central History Museum in Pyongyang. The relics were located in a cave and have been dated to the Upper Paleolithic Age. So we have a uh, fucking iguana versus ruins. <laughs> or relics, sorry. Some kind of relics. Um. I don't know. Only nerds would look at these kinds of articles. <laughs> um, should we try to guess which one is longer? Hmm. I don't know, 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 Nyan, I don't know. Um. How much can you write about a chameleon versus relics? How much can you write about relics versus chameleon? Two species. Hmm. The steam. The cogs are turning, but I'm running on empty. I have no fuel. The steam is coming out of my ears. I don't know which one. Oh, it's Tink. Hello, Tink Nyan. You said you were streaming tonight, but I saw you in the voice chat for Paranoid Pig's game thing that he's doing. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Oh, you never got to stream. Did you guys finish the, uh, 
the mafia game or whatever. I tried to do game night. Okay. Was it good? <laughs> We never got to start Mafia. Oh, That sucks. We're doing Cards Against Humanity. Oh, that sounds fun. Why are you here if you're playing Cards Against Humanity with everybody? <laughs> I feel like it would be hard to focus. <laughs> because I can multitask. Alright, then multitask this. Which Wikipedia article between this random species of chameleon and these North Korean primitive relics, which one do you think is longer or has more views? <laughs> I'm a little stumped. I'm not sure. <laughs> I feel like the Korean relics QD that it's easy. I don't think you understand. I can't press both of them. It's it's between <laughs> these two. <laughs> you think the chameleon is longer? Okay. You were wrong. No! We lost. We lost this round. We, so we only have three hearts, and when you die, you die. <laughs> Let's try again. So we have Makolno. <laughs> Makolno, Greater Poland Voivodeship. It's a village in the administrative district of Gmina Sompolno within Konin County, Greater Poland Vo Voivodeship in West Central Poland, okay? Or the 2003 Four Nations Cup. It's a, oh, it's ice hockey. It was the eighth playing of the annual women's ice hockey tournament. It was held in Skovde, Sweden. Interesting. I feel like this probably has more views. Because, I mean... Another, you know, village in the middle of, like, nowhere. I feel like this has more views. Fuck! Oh, man. We are not doing well. <laughs> the social contract... Originally published as On the Social Contract or Principles of Droit Politique. I don't know. Or Since I Met You, Baby is an album by Freddie Fender that was released in 1975. Do you think it's Freddie Fender like the Fender guitars? Probably not. <laughs> I think Fender guitars were around earlier than 1975. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I have a feeling. <laughs> um, 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 this is probably longer, right? Yeah. Oh, dang, it has more views, too. All right, then. Austria in the Eurovision Song Contest 2005. Okay. <laughs> they participated in the Eurovision Song Contest 2005 with the song Why Ye Asi? Written by Christoph Spjork and Eddie Koildorf. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say these names. The song was performed by the group Global Kreiner. The Austrian broadcaster Osterreich... Oyster? Oysterreichischer Rudfunk? Orf? Organized the national final song. Huh? Or, or we have Kubus, Polish for Little Jacob, is a Polish improvised fighting vehicle used by the Home Army in the Warsaw Uprising during World War II. The single vehicle was built in secret to function as an armored car and armored personnel carrier for assaults by the Home Army. What? Dude, I have no idea. This is so weird. <laughs> These are like two completely different things. And I don't know how to gauge how popular or how long the articles are. There could be... I, I know that Eurovision is really popular. 
But do people care that much about Austria in their Eurovision Song Contest in 2005? <laughs> or a Polish improvised fighting vehicle? <laughs> so who do we think has more crazy fans? Austria lovers and this one Eurovision contest? Or some like military fans who love like vehicles used by the military and stuff like that <laughs> or which one is longer huh. i mm, cuz it's 2005 it, it, unless something, like, crazy happened at the Eurovision Song Contest in 2005 that I don't know about. Uh, I'm gonna say... Uh, uh, you know what? Maybe this one's longer. It was not longer. Shit. But it did have more views. Dang it. Dang it. We only have one heart left. This is hard. <laughs> this is the hardest game I've ever played. <laughs> hardest Shock Saran, also called Hardashok, is a village situated in Saran district of Bihar state, India. The population was 899 at the 2011 Indian census. Okay. Or Edgar Estrada. Wait. Isn't... Oh. Excuse me. No, he's... We have another footballer, you know what that means. Popularly known as El Gato, the cat. I love Gato. Gato, Gato, Gato. Is a Guatemalan footballer who has played goalkeeper for several clubs in Guatemala. I'm gonna go ahead and say this has more views. Always go with the footballer. Title 43 of the United States Code outlines the role of public lands in the United States Code. What the fuck? <laughs> Or we have Bonk Cambria is a proposed Cambria is a proposed Welsh community bank currently under development. Oh, Bonk like ba is ba okay <laughs> under development and aimed to be operating in Wales by 2023. Okay, dude, I have no idea. Some code of the United. What, it, what even is the United States Code? It's not like the Declaration of Independence. It's not... What the fuck is code? Is there just like a government code or something? Like what? what is... The, what, what code is that? <laughs> Public lands in the United States Code. Dude, I don't know. And then proposed Welsh Community Bank. Uh, I have a feeling the code has more views. Probably. Yeah, oh, just barely, though. They are about the same in terms of, like, obscurity. <laughs> 2021 Wagner Seahawks football team. Represented Wagner College as a member of the Northeast Conference in the 2021 NCAA Division I FCS football season. The Seahawks, led by second-year head coach Tom Masella, played their home games at Wagner College Stadium. Dot, dot, dot. Or 2015 Campeonato Carioca Serie B. I have no idea. Oh, it's another football thing. Was the 38th edition of the main division of football in Rio de Janeiro. The contest is organized by Federación de Futebol do Estado do Rio de Janeiro. The competition consisted of two stages. Wait a second. So we have American football versus soccer football, I think. What do I do? They're both football, Dad! <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> I would like to ask chat. I would like to phone a friend. Does anyone have any idea? <laughs> Does anyone want to take a... Uh take point on this? Anyone want to accept responsibility for if we get this wrong? Sover? What? Are you okay? What the fuck does that mean? Sower? Sover? <laughs> S 
so oh, soccer. You meant to hit C, but you hit V, didn't you? <laughs> I had to look down at my keyboard because I knew you made a typo. I'm like, huh, which keys are close to V? Dude, in the time it took you to type what you actually meant, I was able to detectify and like <laughs> Sherlock Holmes my way into an explanation. <laughs> Got a kitty on me. Likely excuse, bub. I don't believe it. I'm not, not hearing it. Soccer is more views? Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> Compared to a hundred, are you kidding me? Uh, let's try again, yeah? <laughs> I don't know, if I go crazy, I might end the stream 30 minutes early because my brain hurts with all this knowledge that I don't know. Caramel baby time. Oh yeah, that's the best kind of time. That's a good time, yeah. <laughs> Halden Ishal is an indoor ice hockey arena located in Halden, Norway. It was built in 1988 with an original capacity of 1,200. It is the home arena of Comet Ice Hockey Team. Halden Ishal is the smallest of the 10 arenas to host GET Ligaean matches at the end of the 2007 to blank blank blank. Neosho County Courthouse in Kansas. Located at this address is the seat of government in Neosho County, Kansas. Erie has been the county seat since 1874. The courthouse was built uh, by contractor Dale Concerning. Okay. So we have a uh, ice hockey arena or county courthouse. I feel like the ice hockey arena probably has more views, right? Courthouse was built in the 1960s, so it's not necessarily like a historical building just yet, I don't think. Versus the... well, the ice hockey rink was 1988, so it's even newer. So maybe it has more views? I'm gonna try more views. Oh yeah, baby! Alright. Serassi is a surname. Notable people include Angelo Serassi, Italian Roman Catholic Bishop Tiberio Serassi. Don't know him. Mark Shawius. That sounds like baby talk. <laughs> like, ooh woo. <laughs> ooh I wanna drink some water. <laughs> I'm a widow forsty. <laughs> Mark Shawius is a genius of Braconoid wasps in the family Braconia day. There were at least three described species in Mark Salvius. <laughs> what is it? Wasps? <laughs> it's wasps versus a surname. I have no fucking idea, man. Maybe the this is like a list and it's longer? No, I feel like it might be short. I feel like this one might be longer. Oh yeah, okay. Ooh, all right. Madunu. Serasi views. Oh, I've clicked past it already. <laughs> Madunu is a 2001 Indian Tamil language romantic thriller film directed by Ravi, Khan Ravi Chandran and produced by Sunanda Murali Manohar. The film stars Prashant and Rinke Khanna with Sonu Sood. Raghuvaran, Rati, Agni, Hotri, and Vivek appearing in other pivotal roles. Okay, so a uh, romantic thriller movie. Or Evansdale, New Zealand is a locality on State Highway 125. Oh, on State Highway 1, 25 kilometers north of Dunedin. Dundundin? I have no idea. Dun Dundin? At the northwest of Blueskin Bay. It also has lent its name to a cheese producer, oh, and a census gathering district which has a population of 1,482 in the 2013 New Zealand census, an increase of 198 people. Um. I feel like Evansdale 
might be longer because if it's just a movie I don't think they're gonna list like every single thing every actor or actress has like been in versus Evansdale excuse me Evansdale could have like a history to it I think it's longer let's try I was so wrong. Wow, this is a very famous movie. <laughs> wow, I feel dumb. Holy shit. <laughs> Majun. This is from 2001? Wow. Performed well at the box office. Oh. Oh my god, this is this is a thriller. Dang. Whoa! She's joking that it's a bomb? Whoa. <laughs> oh dang. Holy shit. This is this is actually this sounds really interesting. <laughs> oh, oh no, she gets accused of being a terrorist. Oh jeez. Whoa. Palatial house. What? Wow. Whoa. The son of the man whom she is charged for attempted murder. Aww. <gasps> oh my gosh, her brother is actually in the plot to kill the guy. Whoa! It's to kill him. <gasps> the sister without knowing him. Oh, wow. Tends to reject him. Finally, confesses her love and reveals that her beha her behavior is because of her brother's true identity and intentions. Which shatters Hina's mother. She un oh, she unites both of them and asks them to leave the place. Riding train the next time. Hina's brother catches them. He's arrested by police. The film ends with Vasant and Hina united. Wow, what a trip! Wow, that sounds like a really interesting movie. <laughs> no wonder it has so many views. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Oh wow, Skate America, baby. I know her. I don't know her personally, but she's, um, 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 I forgot her name. I'm sorry. She's really famous, though. I know her as a uh, figure skater. Anyway, we have 2013 Skate America. 2013 Hilton H. Honors Skate America was the first event of six in the 2013 ISU Grand Prix of Figure Skating, a senior-level international invitational competition series. It was held at the Joe Louis Arena in Detroit, Michigan. 
That's where Yuri did his study abroad, is in Detroit. On October 17th to 20, medals were awarded, blah blah, okay. Or the West Ham, West Ham United FC season, what? Was West Ham United's first season back in the football, god, another soccer thing, in the football league championship after being relegated from the Premier League at the conclusion of this campaign, they also competed in the League Cup. So, I'm pretty sure soccer is more popular than figure skating. Unfortunately, I don't think it should be. <laughs> figure skating to me is so much more interesting and like pretty and like interesting to look and watch, but whatever. I know. Ooh, oh, it hurts. It hurts me so much. Uh, is it Ondo? Think Ondo or like, may I don't know. Do you think if I go to the article, it'll say? I'm pretty sure she's Japanese. Mal Asada. That's who it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very, very. She was in like a lot of commercials in Japan too. <laughs> Former? Oh, she quit? Oh, no, I think that's right. I think she was in the news for retiring. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's why I know her is because she was, like, in the news when I was in there. Does it say when she retired? She has a poodle named Arrow after the chocolate? That's adorable. She has included an exhibition. Really? Oh my god, Tiara and Komatsu, that's adorable. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah, so I, I think she retired, because it says she's a former figure skater. I feel like she retired in like 2017 or 2018. That was around the time I was in Japan, maybe. Maybe not. Can't remember, but anyway. <laughs> I know her. <laughs> Let's keep going. History of biotechnology. Biotechnology is the application of scientific and engineering principles to the processing of materials by biological agents to provide goods and services. From its inception, biotechnology has maintained a close relationship with society, although now most often associated blank blank blank. Or a list of massacres in Roman Judea. Wow. <laughs> okay. The following is a list of massacres that have occurred in Roman Judea prior to the establishment of the Roman province of Syria, Palestine. Dina? Uh, for massacres that took place in southern Levant prior to World War One, see list of massacres in Ottoman Syria. For massacres that took holy mother of God, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. I know it's not. It's not. It's not funny. It's just like the the jump from like biotechnology to fucking a list of massacres. That's the tonal shift is crazy, giving me whiplash. <laughs> Um, well, how many massacres do we think happened in Roman Judea? A lot? Do you think the list is longer than the history of biotechnology? I feel like both of these could be long. I feel like the biotechnology one is longer. Or it might have more views. I don't know, Nyan. Ini mini mani mo katataga by the toe if he hollers that don't go ini mini mani mo. More views! Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Either one would have been correct. All right. HMS Chesapeake. Two ships of the Royal Navy have borne the name HMS Chesapeake. I keep wanting to read it as cheesecake 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> this one was a 38 gun American heavy frigate captured by HMS Shannon on the 1st of June, 1813. In a 15 minute battle, wow, broken up in 1819, HMS Chesapeake was a 51 gun screw. Oh, wait, was a 51 gun screw propelled frigate launched in 1855, okay? You Might Be a Redneck If is an album by American comedian Jeff Foxworthy. It was released by Warner Bros. Records on June 15, 1993. The album peaked at number 38 on the Billboard 200 chart and has been certified three times platinum by the RIAA. The album was recorded at this place. Feel like this has more views. Yeah, alright. Going well, going well. Don't want to jinx it, though. Um, Athletics at the 1976 Summer Olympics men's 20 kilometers walk. The official results in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, held on Friday, July 25th. Sorry, July 23rd. Total number of 36 athletes. Two of them did not finish. Or Josef Anton Schobinger was a Swiss politician and member of the Swiss Federal Council. Elected to the Federal Council of Switzerland on 17th of June 1908. Died in office on the 27th of November 1911. He died in office? Was he like assassinated? Or <laughs> had like a heart attack? Or he didn't get to be the Federal Council person for that long. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. 1976. Isn't it interesting to think about, like, how all of these are related? Like, this guy died a little bit. <laughs> Quite quite a bit before 1976. But, like, you know. It's interesting when we get ones that, like, happen around the same time. Or, like, those two athletes that were born around the same time. It's interesting. It's like looking into a bunch of different lives. Wondering what they could have experienced or what they missed and stuff. Huh. Um... Maybe this has more views? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Onizin Sivitan is a Croatian jurist and politician. He briefly served as interior minister in the cabinet of Josip, Josip Manolik in July 1991. During the early stages of the Croatian War of Independence, born in the town of Tribunj on the Dal Dalmatian coast, or we have Andrzej Bars... I'm so sorry, Barszynski um, is a Polish film director, screenwriter, and camera operator. He is best known as a co-screenwriter for the cult film Rays. Rays? Rays? He was born in Warsaw, Poland after the Second World War he and his parents moved to Prednik. So we have a politician. Or, oh my gosh, they would be alive at the same time. Do you think they knew each other? Do you think they knew about one another? Probably not. I don't know. It depends on how famous this guy is. Tier minister. Wow. He had a nice cult film in 1970 and this guy got to be a minister in 1991 how close are Croatia and Poland let's look it up man is equal to 505 miles. Can I see it on a map? 
Oh, here, yeah, Croatia and Poland. There is a bug in here! Why is there a bug in my room? It's a little flying bug. Ooh, I'm angry. Ooh. Close. Yeah, they are close to each other. What do you think, like... An hour flight? Maybe even less? Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Hour? Two hours? Croatia and Poland. So these two guys... They lived semi-close together, you know? Film guy, more views. You are incorrect! How could you do this to me? <laughs> I can't believe it. Dang it, we have one heart left. And we're only on 6 out of 10. Can't believe you. Women in Egypt. The role of women in Egypt has changed throughout history from ancient to modern times. From the earliest preserved archaeological records, Egyptian women were considered equal to men in Egypt society. Regardless of marital status, okay? Marc Vallot was one of several highly talented Belgian judoka. Oh, from Belgium. During the eight, nine, 1980s. I've had to read a lot of dates today. Please spare me. 1980s and early 1990s. Probably gained more international fame through... Fame, though, through his marriage to legendary six-fold world champion women's judo, Ingrid something-something. Honestly, this is probably longer. Yeah, women in Egypt is longer. Richard J. Dora Memorial Hardwood State Forest is a something-something acres reserve of current and former forest in Minnesota's driftless area. And is state owned with the remainder owned by private individuals? Wow. Interesting. Okay. Or Mohammed Abdul Ghaffar, also known as Abdul Ghaffar, was a politician from Arakan, Burma. He was elected to the legislature of Burma in British Burma from Bolthidaung in 1947. Bruni's Independence in 1948. Okay, that is a creepy picture. Why is it so bad quality. <laughs> Alright. Um, hmm. This is another hard one. Hmm. I don't know. That bug is really bothering me. <laughs> it just flitted out of my vision and now I can't see it. Now I'm nervous and anxious. Bug. I hate bugs. Hate them. Absolutely hate bugs. Sylvignan! I would guess the forest is longer, okay? You're incorrect, and you made us lose. Thanks, Sylvie. <laughs> you just came in here to help us lose? Is that it? <laughs> oh, that's okay, that's okay. We weren't doing very well anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Oh my god, hang on, I need water. <laughs> mm. Sylvie, what do you think of... Oh, drink again? <laughs> okay. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious water. Ah. Sylvie, what do you think of the new overlay setup thingy? I was told to try putting chat on one side of the screen so that it's like easier to read and it doesn't get in the way of the games. I was trying to redeem as you were choking. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I choke a lot. It, it happens. 
My throat is just unstable, that's all. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, um, we have Femme Africa Solidarité. Was founded by African women leaders in 1996 in Geneva to prevent and resolve conflicts in Africa and to empower women for leadership. It's good to have chat not cover the gay. <laughs> Wouldn't want to cover the gay now. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Yeah, I thought so too. I, I didn't think it was necessarily... It was only during like some games when the chat was kind of in the way. And it kind of blocked... I mean, because like there's not a whole lot of important stuff that happens in like the middle left side of the screen in games. You know, besides like maybe some... HUD stuff, but my Final Fantasy HUD is set up to where it doesn't really get in the way, and I don't know. It's not a big problem, but you know. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, yeah. And if I wanted to, like, edit this into a video or something, I feel like it would be easier to have them separate so that if I wanted to, like, cut the screen or something, you know, it would be easier this way and the chat wouldn't be in the way. Hello, Corginian! I'm here. You should. Do what? <laughs> I sh- what? What? <laughs> How about this? How about we do a lightning round where I don't even read the articles, I just press a random button at random. More views! Oh, longer. Oh, longer. Yeah! <laughs> More views. Yeah! Longer. Ah, oh, okay, that didn't last very long. <laughs> you should make video. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I could. But, uh... You know, it's uh, it's a lot of work, especially like, like if it was trying to edit down an hour of stream, it'd be not too bad, but like three or four hours trying to sort through it. And I don't know what's funny. Like, I don't think I'm funny at all. I don't know what parts are interesting or like what jokes are good. <laughs> Can edit for you. I like edit video. Are you sure? Cause I, you're really busy. You have a lot going on, man. I don't know if I wanna expect that from you. <laughs> That's like a lot. I don't wanna like bother you. Yes, um. <laughs> I don't know. Less than you think, really? Cause it sounds kind of stressful. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying a speed round. Longer. Oh. I'll read the titles. A song? Yeah. Football team and football team. It's Maybe it's better not to think. Dude, I think it's better not to think at all. Just pay a longer. Yeah. Football. More views. Damn it! <laughs> Shit. Um, longer? Shit! <laughs> oh, more views. Fuck! <laughs> Look how the crown is, like, covering his face, too. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I think maybe one more time. I might end stream 10 minutes early just because my brain hurts and I'm hungry. <laughs> it's allowed, right? We have some longer streams sometimes, so throwing in some shorter streams is good for variety. <laughs> I think. That is okay. 
Thank you, Corgi. I thought so too, Nya. <laughs> Quentin Delapierre. Candace Audrey. Uh, more views. Shit. <laughs> uh, so, uh, longer. No. <laughs> Jamaican group. More views. Yes. Oh my god, it's a beetle. Oh, fucking, I don't know. <coughs> fuck, shink, fuck. Okay, well. If you need rest, get it. Well, you see, my brain doesn't let me rest. <laughs> I was trying to go to sleep early in the morning today because I was awake pretty much all night because I had slept a lot during the day. Well, not a lot, a lot, but I did sleep some during the day, so I was kind of awake during the night, and I tried really hard for like two hours to calm down, but like my brain just kept pumping and pumping, and I was anxious and worried about a lot of stuff, and like I had a psychiatrist appointment yesterday, and then I had my therapy today, then I had to make a doctor's appointment soon to see if I have like a hormonal imbalance. It's like a whole thing. <laughs> I'm just really worried about what's going on inside of me right now. <laughs> it's not anything like really worth, like I, I wouldn't want, it's not worth other people worrying over me. Like it's nothing serious, you know? It's just like, it bothers me because I don't know exactly what my problems are. Because I've been diagnosed with, like, multiple mental illnesses, but, like, so I don't, I just don't know, like, how do I know it's not ADHD or, like, uh, fucking autism or some, um, like, psychosis and, like, like, I took online tests, but I asked my psychiatrist about taking, like, actual assessments and stuff and she was just like no we don't need to do that she's like brushed it off like no i'm pretty sure it's this 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 and this i'm like are you because like i she just was not having it so that's cool <laughs> okay we'll do one more speed run all right restaurant more views fuck me oh my god okay hercules micro control wait what river uh longer Ooh, 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 oh wow, they really like this. Damn. The the hoes love Hercules micro con micro controller. <laughs> micro controller? I hardly know her. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Bink oh whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tink is playing Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> I guess you guys are done with your uh, Cards Against Humanity, huh? <laughs> if she's going on to Final Fantasy. Your psychiatrist sounds un- No, she's not unprofessional. I think she might actually be too professional because I was talking about it with my therapist and my therapist was like, yeah, psychiatrists are being like more and more careful about how they diagnose people, especially recently because like, you know, lots of people, especially like on TikTok, there's a whole- mental health revolution going on and a lot of people think they have like a lot of stuff but then they it actually turns out they kind of don't they just have some symptoms of that stuff and that's probably kind of what's happening with me like I'm worried that it's something I don't know about or it's something that like we aren't picking up on but also I think the worry is a bit justified because, like, I've been trying antidepressant and anti-anxiety medication, and it's not really helping. So, like, I feel like there's something we're not getting getting to the bottom of, but my psychiatrist doesn't really think so. <laughs> or, or she just wants to, like, focus on one thing at a time, you know? So, sounds like Sue Christ. <laughs> Pseudo Christ psychiatrist is brushing off online tests does not sound unprofessional to me. I mean, I didn't tell her about the online tests. I didn't tell my therapist either. I just took them because I was really worried and stressing out. I have a cat on me, excuse Tupo. <laughs> I've heard this excuse before. <laughs> oh shit. 
Uh, OMG. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell them because it was just, it, I'm, I am willing to admit that like I'm a little paranoid because I feel like we're not getting at what should be getting at within me because I, I still have a lot of the same problems. But, you know, it's legit. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No, I said I heard that excuse before because my dad actually had a cat on him earlier in stream. And he was also making typos. But he makes way more typos than you do, Sylvie. So his his excuse doesn't really sit as well as yours does. <laughs> I'm willing to actually excuse you for having a cat and making a typo. I'm not willing to excuse my dad because he makes typos even when there's no cats on him. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Baraba Tate? Another beetle. Uh, I don't know longer? Fuck! <laughs> Welp! <clears throat> I don't know why everyone came in close to the end of stream, but it's about that time. <laughs> You're bad at guessing. Oh, come on! <laughs> My best. <laughs> I'm gonna quit this. Quit this malarkey. Anyway, this is where else you can find me on the internet, I guess. <laughs> oh, Sylvie needs a nya stat. This one is for you, Sylvie. Nya. I hope you liked it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I hope that's worth 200 channel points. <laughs> because I must support the friend. You don't have to. I mean, I really appreciate it. But don't feel stressed or, like, pressured to. <laughs> Thank you for coming at all. Thank you for coming at the last part of stream. Or for every part of stream. It's okay. I like it to just have friends stop by. It's very nice. Uh... This is the schedule. The next stream is going to be Final Fantasy. I don't know if my friends want to play or not. Because I finished MSQ, I'm a little free. I do it out of my heart. Wow, English is escaping. <laughs> it's escaping. No, that's right. That's okay. Your English was good. <laughs> anyway. Ugh. Oh. Thank you for coming, and I'm gonna go eat pizza, probably. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. You are free? Wanna do savage raids with me? No! <laughs> savage raids! <laughs> do you need another body? <laughs> do you need another corpse on the ground <laughs> in your savage raid? Because <laughs> if that's the case, sure. <laughs> Do you want a useless meat sack? <laughs> Who does the minimal amount of damage? <laughs> I do like negative damage. The, the enemy actually heals when I attack them <laughs> because I can't, for the life of me, hold down a fucking rotation for my life. <laughs> I mean, I'd be open to trying it eventually, but right now it's kind of very, very scary. <laughs> Savage raids are like a big looming threat that only super cool, high, high tech end game players do. <laughs> Dude, I already get so st You know, you if you've watched the stream. Anyone who's watched the stream and has watched me do, like, level 90 content, you know I get stressed out with just the basic-ass shit. <laughs> I'm not super- Oh, shut up! You're super, super cool! Yeah, that's right. You're not super cool. You're super, super, super cool. <laughs> Sorry, I should have said it three times. <laughs> uh, anyway... Thank you all for coming, Nyan. <laughs> Thank you. And I 
We'll see you in the next stream. Goodbye.